Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we're going to do a spinal tap case. Um, you're probably already familiar with camel case in JavaScript. Camel case, it, it looks like this. This is a variable, um, kind of like the humps on a camel. Um, you got like these lower cases and like upper cases and things like that. Uh, for this challenge, we're going to take a given string and make it into a spinal case. Um, it's basically all lowercase and each word is separated by a dash. Um, Let's read the instructions and see a couple of the examples. Uh, so yeah, basically convert a string to spinal case. Spinal case is all lowercase words joined by dashes. And uh, you can see the example right here, all lowercase joined by dashes. Um, they give us some helpful links, uh, regular expressions, and um, replace. Um, I don't always use their helpful links in my solutions, um, but in this challenge, it definitely helps. Uh, before, I was trying to use some complicated like loops uh, to, to, to solve this challenge, but it's going to be so much easier if you just follow the recommendation this time. Um, but let's take a look. Uh, you have like this one example right here. Let me uh, zoom in so you can see that a bit more clearly. Okay. And you see here, uh, this is spinal tap, and it's going to return all lowercase right here. All right, um, fairly simple. This one is actually in camel case, as you can see, but we still have to return it um, in, uh, in spinal cap, uh, spinal uh, case. <laughs> uh, this one um, looks like it's separated by underscores. Uh, we've got this one. It has spaces already, but um, uh, some of the words have a, a dash in it. And then this one is like a mix of like uh, spinal and camel. And this is all sorts of crazy like this. Now, uh, I know what you're thinking. And it's probably the same thing I was thinking when I started this challenge. I was like, okay, this is easy. Let me just return the string. Uh, I'm going to split it. Um, by by the spaces, and then I'm going to um, join it back together, and uh, this time I'm going to put a dash between each of the spaces, and then of course I'm going to make it all lowercase. And this will get you um, through a couple of the examples. If we run this, um, it'll pass two of the test. Um, here it's, yeah, it's taking it, um, each individual word, uh, then joining it back together with dashes and then lower casing it. It works for this one as well. Um, but you can see for, for some of the other ones in camel case, it just won't work because this camel case word right here, it's all like a single word. We can't, we can't split it based on the, uh, on, on any spaces. There's no spaces in that example. Um, you know, this one right here with the underscores, we could very easily, you know, do something like this and it'll pass that test, but, um, but then the other two tests that were successful before, um, go away. Um, and, uh, and so we have to kind of use these regular expressions, even though I hate regular expressions, and we have to use the replace method in order to make this work um, as easily as possible. Um, before, I was using some crazy, like, kind of for loops uh, to give you an idea. Uh, I was like, okay, let me iterate through each letter, and um, if, if one letter is lowercase and then the next one is uppercase, then I know I need to split it uh, right there. And uh, if you're thinking that way, um, it, if you fall into the same trap that I made, uh, you're, you're going to have a bad time, and it's going to be uh, really, really messy. Um, but enough talk. Uh, let's jump into the solution. Um, and get going. I got my Atom editor already open. I created a new JavaScript file as usual. This one's called 12spinaltapcase.js and I've already gone ahead and embedded that in my example.html file uh, which I have open here in the uh, Chrome browser and I'm going to get my JavaScript console all ready and good to go. Um, okay, so uh, first thing I want to do uh, I want to uh, I, I want to essentially 
um, uh, you know, for for all of the uh, for all of the examples of like uh, spinal. Uh, or I'm sorry, of all the examples of like the camel case, these example tests right here, uh, I want to be able to easily identify um, where there is a lowercase and uppercase kind of like uh, characters touching each other together. And I just want to separate them out with one single space. And we can do that using uh, regular expressions and the replace method. So um, this is a, you know, a string variable and it's, uh, we can you know, change it. So I'm going to say str equals str replace. And um, this takes uh, two arguments. Um, the first argument can be a string or a regular expression. And, um, and that's going to be the, the target something that we want to replace. And then the second argument of this method is going to be you know, what we actually want to uh, replace it with. So uh, we need regular expressions in order for this to work. Regular expressions, they begin with um, these like two forward slashes. And uh, okay, this is where the fun begins. We're going to use something called capturing groups. Um, and those are done in parentheses. And then uh, we need some brackets in there. All right, so the first capture group is any lowercase letter A from Z, okay? Um, and the next capture group, okay, it's gonna be in a similar vein. It's gonna be any uppercase letter, A through Z. And then I'm gonna put in the G uh, option right there, and that means global. That means it's gonna match all of, um, all of the occurrences of this pattern. Um, and, and not just the first one. So, so what is this pattern? Okay, this pattern is basically saying, um, in the case of uh, in the case of um, a camel case, all right, it, it's going to say, hey, uh, find all of the matches where a lowercase letter is just next to an uppercase letter. So, uh, here is one match. Okay, this would be that first kind of parentheses, that first capture group that lowercase s, and this i would be the uh, second capture group, okay, for all the uh, capital case letters. Uh, this would be another capture group right there, okay. We have a lowercase touching uh, an uppercase, and uh, here's a final um, uh, group right there. We got a lowercase l touching a uh, um, capital T, um, and so we've got three matches with that regular expression. And uh, if we had um, if we had uh, um, not done it this way, if we had um, just you know removed the G right here, uh, then it, it it wouldn't have worked. Ooh, where'd that go? Then it wouldn't have worked. It would only have matched the uh, the first. Um, the first capture group, but we want that G flag uh, to, to make it uh, work with everything. Okay, uh, I'm going to go back into my Atom editor and work on it here. So I've got my capture group, and now uh, this is where the um, this is where the docs are going to be very helpful. Uh, let me just zoom out here. Okay, uh, if we go to the replace method. Okay. Uh, and this is kind of like really meaty, um, but you want to read like this section right here, particularly this last pattern. So uh, the dollar sign n, and the n represents an integer, so any non-negative integer. Where n is a non-negative integer lesser than 100, inserts the nth uh, parenthesized submatch string, provided the first argument was a regular expression object. Okay, so in other words, um, okay, if I do something like this, so, all right, like this. So this dollar sign one that represents the first sub match, um, it, basically the first capture group in this um, in this um, you know uh, capturing group right here, and then dollar sign number two represents the second. Uh, submatch or the second capturing group in this regular expression, and uh, you know if I go ahead and um, let's see here, if I go ahead and um, show you what that looks like, refresh the page. Okay, um, I get um, I get this is Spinal Tap. Uh, that's already there. You know, it's it's nothing special here. Um, and if I um, 
you know, if I do like camel case, let me do in camel case, this is spinal tap. I get the same thing, okay? So basically, um, this dollar sign one represents the first capture group, and this dollar sign two represents the second capture group, and I wanna replace um, all of those occurrences of a capital and an uppercase uh, touching each other, and uh, I just wanna add this space right here. You can see right here, this is um, some space. Uh, if I get rid of it, if I just do that, and um, save it and refresh, you can see um, it's back to uh, camel case, nothing changes. If I add in like, um, I don't know, um, like dot, 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 save it. Okay, you can see, all right, basically um, that's exactly what we want, all right? And then uh, I just wanna make everything lowercase, so to lowercase, okay. All right, that's what we want. And now um, the final thing that I wanna do, I, I just wanna replace any spaces or underscores uh, with a dash. Uh, so right now, um, you know, if I do um, a camel case or like a regular uh, kind of um, string, uh, I'm gonna get this uh, string, but I still got spaces in there. And one of the other uh, examples, uh, they have uh, underscores. So let's just replace the spaces and the underscores, and um, let's make it um, let's make it um, be replaced with dashes, and then it will truly be spinal case. Okay, I got enough time to show you how to do that. So we need another replace method, replace. Okay, and I'm checking my notes because it took me a while to figure this out. <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right. Um, I always forget how to do backslashes. So there it is. Okay, so we've got our forward slashes for the regular expressions. This backslash S, that represents a space character. This pipe right here, that's like an or. And then we have this underscore. So basically, uh, it says, um, this regular expression is match any spaces or match any underscores. And we have the global option here, so it's gonna match all of these things. Match the spaces or the underscores and replace it with this dash. Okay. And if we save that, go to the page and refresh. There we go. We got a true um, spinal case right there. And um, let's just go to the Free Code Camp website. Let's just like this. And there we go. We're going to pump you up. Awesome. Uh, I think that came from Saturday Night Live back in the day. Love that show. Anyway, um, let's see how much time we have here. Two minutes. Okay, I could talk about my solution a little bit more. So uh, once again, okay, we got our string. It's represented by str. And we're going to first um, just make sure all of the individual words are separated. So, um, you know, it, it, this is uh, particularly helpful for any camel case um, it strings. And uh, in, in order to separate the words in a camel case string, all right, you need these capture groups. So the first capture group is uh, lowercase, second capture group is, uh, uh, case is upper, uh, uh, uppercase, and um, we're gonna replace it by just, you know, adding that space in there together. And then finally, we're gonna uh, replace all the spaces and underscores with a dash, and then that works for us. Okay, so, um, Thank you for watching. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, please let me know by writing in the comments right here. Um, if you like this video, if you like my video series, um, I would really appreciate it if you um, liked it um, you know, on Facebook that way. Uh, if you liked it, um, shared it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. That would really help me out. It would really help you out, and it would help the fine folks out at freecodecamp.com. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next video. We're going to tackle um, some really complicated math stuff, but it ain't no big thing because you're watching Practical JavaScript with Stephen Mayu. All right, see you in the next video. Till then, bye. Boop.